We've secured the gates and put archers on the battlements. What footmen we have are armed and ready. Talia and Elena. In the cellars where they'll be safe. You should be down there too, Alyssa. And let Lud think that I'm afraid. Roderick Forrester! By order of houses Whitehill, Bolton and Baratheon, I order you to surrender your keep and present yourself for execution. <laughs> he must be shitting in his britches. Get your men off my land, Whitehill. And I might let you leave with your heart still beating. I can't do that, Roderick. Ramsay Snow said only one of our houses can survive. All that's left to determine is how you will die. Ryan, bring the gift. Uh, no. What's he doing? I brought you something to mount on your wall. Come on, lad. Hold it up so your brother can see. No! Oh, fuck! Oh, you should have seen the rest of him. Or what's left. <laughs> After we fed it to the dogs. Oh, damn him! Does he have no limit? Don't look, Alyssa. That bastard! How could he? <sighs> oh, he's beginning to bore me. <laughs> Take the gate! Arrows, <laughs> watch it out of the way! My lord, the men are looking to you. Reinforce the front gate. Use every piece of timber you can find. The fight is on! Find me when the gate falls. We need to get off this bloody wall. That animal! He's taken everything from us. What's happening out there? Nothing good. This is Roiland's fault. Because of him, the Whitehalls know our numbers, our defenses, the strength of our gate, and they're using Ryan as a human shield. I'd say we have hours. Maybe less. The problem isn't Ryan. It's Lord fucking mighty. Cut the head off the snake, this all goes away. Now this is a plan. But they'll slaughter us the moment we raise the gate. Then we don't go out the gate. Duncan, the map. Smaller enough party could sneak out the postern gate. If we cut through the forest and along this hunting trail. We'd end up here, behind Lud's army. Sounds like a plan to me. We hit their camp, take out Lud, and maybe get your brother back in the bargain. My lord, I see why this is appealing. But if you're caught out there, this war is over. They'll kill you. They'll kill Ryan. They'll marry Mira and Talia to second sons from minor houses. Duncan, this is going to work. I'll make it work. Then there's nothing I can say except... Be careful. Amaya, this is it. We're going to war. Are you with me or not? We are with you. Only because Asher already paid us. Then we leave this shit-cold land. We'll either have won, or we'll all be- ah! <laughs> Arrows! We need arrows! It's up to you to hold the castle, Duncan. You'll not set foot in Ironrath on my watch. You must leave for your own welfare. So you'd cut me loose like some injured horse? Give me a moment. 
Elena, why aren't you inside? Your master wants to send me away. The Glenmores have cousins in the Riverlands. I've stood by you since the beginning, Roderick. Tell him I belong here, at Ironrock. Tell him I make my own choices. There's no place for you here, Elena. Roderick! I'll have someone see you to safety. Roderick! We have to go, now! Goodbye, Roderick. The gate won't hold much longer, even with the reinforcements. Then follow me. Let's end this before they do. She's left the keep! Search the area! Lady Mira! There she is! Take her! What's all this? I'll tell you on our way. You're making a big mistake. D don't you know who this is? Doesn't matter who he is. We're here for you. This is Lord Rickard Morgren, the most powerful ironwood merchant in King's Landing. One word to your superiors, and he'll have you carted off to the wall. Rickard, tell them how far you'd go to protect your friends. Lady Mira, I hope these men aren't bothering you. We have orders from Captain Lucan Let to- Let me worry about Lucan. You worry about buying yourselves a few tankards. On me. Thank you for keeping our city safe. Can I take you somewhere, Lady Mera? The Rivergate. Thank you. The river gate, quick as you can. What's going on, Mira? Is there a problem? Someone's plotting against me. Plotting? What do you mean? They're spreading malicious rumors. And worse, they've set the guard after me. I see. That is worrying indeed. Clearly you've made powerful enemies here in King's Landing. Although, you've made short work of one of them at least. I hear Lord Andros has found a home in the Black Cells. I'm impressed. It seems he took on the wrong handmaiden and lost. Andros was a snake, working for the White Hills. He got exactly what he deserved and no more. I'm inclined to agree. I doubt anyone will miss the oath. Of course, now that you've gotten rid of my biggest competitor, all kinds of opportunities have opened up, particularly in your part of the Seven Kingdoms. The Ironwood Market is wide open. There's opportunity enough for both of us, Lord Morgren. Think of what we could accomplish if we worked together. <laughs> I have thought about it. I've thought about it a great deal. You're clever, Mira. Identifying Andros as our common enemy while approaching me as a partner. You showed an understanding of King's Landing that took me years to gain. Of course, I knew you'd be a problem when we first met. Imagine, a handmaiden stealing the Crown's ironwood contract from under my nose. That's why I bribed that Lannister guard to kill you. Don't look so surprised. You must have known you'd become a target sooner or later. Killing Lannister guards does not go unnoticed. Hmm. You really didn't see it coming. You never should have trusted me. That may have been your only mistake. After Lud takes Ironrath, he and I will control the Ironwood trade entirely. You've been very helpful, Mira. But it's time to get you out of the way. Can't have you complicating things. Ah! You're finished. 
Mira Forrester. Understand? We've arrived. Now get out of my fucking litter! Lucan, I fancy coming across you here. I seem to have found something you're looking for. That you have, my lord. I've been searching for this murderer a long time. You don't need to do this, Lucan. Whatever you think you know, we, we can work something out. Shut your liar's mouth! It's time you answered for your crimes. Take her to the cells. Chin up, Mera. I'm sure if you ask him nicely, the headsman will be quick. Forgive my brother's temper. It's said over time, wargs adopt the traits of their animal. And your news was... unexpected. You see, Gregor Forrester was our father. <laughs> 